told you niggas that was the shit No plans to exist, this time around the standard is win We taking over, anybody trying to stand in defense I'm slamming the death on the ground and then I stand on their chest I'm beating mine like the gorillas It's a zone that I ain't never went I'm trying to reach the stars Yo. Oh. Hey, Grizzly. Yeah, I was, I wasn't was expecting you to. Bro. Yeah, I'm good. I was actually gonna. I was. Uh, did you see me in the chat posting to bring up the link? Because yeah, yeah. I originally got out. I had to go on my laptop again to oh, type in the link. This all good. Yeah. Um, that new future flash guy actually wants to chat with you in the chat. Oh <laughs> my funny. god, he's still here. Yeah. This still here. Yeah. But um, just quickly, could you uh repeat the question again? Because I was oh no, nah, I was saying you, you 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 it's your floor, bro. You can talk about whatever you want if you want to give some insight okay, okay. on this whole um, whole Michelle's. Talk, I, have a, talk. I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, first of all, all the people in chat dissing April. First of all, your heads, screw you all. Um, uh, the main thing with Michelle, and there's a couple of things I want to point out. I feel like. The thing with, like, obviously clout chasing again, like, if you're going to chase clout, be honest with you. Don't try and fake what you're doing. If you're going to do something, just fucking live that shit. Accept that you're doing this for fame. Accept that you're trying to be big. Like, don't try and be like, oh, I don't care about the fame. It, it doesn't matter to me. Because it clearly does. That's the whole reason you're on this platform. So just embrace it at the end of the day and if you're lying to your audience that's disgusting like that's just downright disgusting and you should never do that and another big thing i have against michelle which is something which i personally notice is obvious like I don't, I don't think it's really arrogant so much as it is like very clear bias like you obviously know anthony fantano you've talked about him right wait who anthony fantano um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well uh, i I personally respect Anthony. I think, like, the thing with him is that he obviously gives a reason why he feels the way he does. And at the end of the day, he portrays it as an opinion. He absolutely right. portrays it as an opinion. Whereas with Michelle, I feel like Michelle is what people think Anthony is. Like, he just thinks what he thinks is right. That type of thing. Not that that's facts, but also people are being like, they're being pulled into his manipulation. So what he's yeah. doing is he's trying to create this, this like basically fallacy that, oh, all the other YouTubers, they're not giving it to you, Daryl, like I'm giving it to you. They're not as real as I am. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm hating on uh, this rapper because I really hate his music. He's, he's trash. No other yeah. YouTuber is gonna keep it as real as I do like that. He's pandering. He's pandering. Yeah. That's all he's doing. He's just pandering to another audience. It's it's yeah, it's, cool. it's literally so simple, bro. But like I said, he's got a lot of he's he's got a younger demographics, and he's got yeah. a a a, a, a audience that's basically you know those those trolls that love being mm -hmm. in comments and trolling and be like. This trash yeah. just for the sake of saying it's trash yeah i actually got my first hater recently oh for real yeah i think he's i think he only hates me because i like you as well wait That's what's funny. Is, is he like following your channel or something in, in, yeah he's gone on he's been going on my videos just posting mad comments just insulting me it's so funny bro th but this is what i'm those are his fans those are literally his fans. He yeah. has the bro. Those are his fucking fans. They're weirdos. And this is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. I understand why he relates and why he was vouching for a nigga like a uh, mm -hmm. uh, daughter. Because he, he yeah. sees himself. That That's who he is. He's a fake like that. They're both mm -hmm. fake it's, Oh, po Post, I'm, I'm going to send you something too. I'll, but I... Uh, keep keep saying what you gotta say, bro. I just want to bring up post too, cause he okay, be having okay. some dope insight. Right, so um, I just want to say like one of my main things that I think um should always 
like be a thing like obviously the whole trolling thing obviously it gets you to a certain level i just don't really like it and that's the thing which puts me off michelle is he just comes off as just a horrible person more than just like someone disingenuous he just comes off as like a bit of a and right. that kind of that's my prerogative like i don't like arrogant people yeah. and he has that arrogant vibe to him and that's my main issue but the whole pandering thing is obviously just something you don't do like if you want to like obviously go for an audience like you're trying to aim for like a specific demographic like you can do that like, mm -hmm. I messed up my entire grammar there, but if you want to get like a particular demographic, then go ahead. You can do that all you want, but like make it clear that like this is you what don't I'm... pander. Like be honest with your opinions, because at the end of the day, I believe honesty is the best policy. And I think if you're serious about your opinions, uh, people will take you a lot more like a lot more seriously and. No, no, you, bro, no, no. I agree with you. You speak in facts with that. That's that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, all I be asking for from, like, whether you in this reactor world or whatever you do, just be sincere with it. That's all this is asking for. We're not asking for too much. Like, that. this is why I said, I told myself, bro, if, if follow me, I gotta always let them know what my actions are. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and when, when I do do something, whether it's uh, like, oh, you always talking about Eminem. I'm always backing my shit up with facts before I knew about YouTube, before I knew about uh, Eminem's like hold on YouTube. I literally have albums dedicated to this guy. So yeah, it's absolutely. Not me. It's not me just trying to. Ooh, I gotta actually fake this, this, this love I have for Eminem and Pander. No, I keep the same energy across the board. No, it's Tupac and Eminem. It's always been that way. But like yeah. I said, I can't keep it a stack, bro. This, this YouTube is so toxic. And yeah, absolutely. If you can't see through this, shit, bro. Like I don't care what anybody says, bro. This coach knows. Coach knows exactly what this dude uh, was doing in this video. He knows. He knows. It just takes, like, it just, I, I don't know. Maybe it takes a level of maturity or it takes mm -hmm. people not falling victim to, I like this guy. I like what he does. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to excuse the, the, yeah. the. That That's another big thing. Like, it's hard to, like, um, let someone, like, accept someone as a bad person when you like them like when you feel for someone you're like oh i can't accept that they've done something awful because i want to support them like it's like a because you want to support them you don't want them to be a bad person it's almost like a coping mechanism in a sense so i no. do kind of understand that like when i find out someone i like has done something bad i struggle to bring myself to admit when they're wrong obviously i can because yeah. at the end of the day i'm a very objective person like for me, it took me a while to get off screw. Like, remember mm -hmm. when I said that? I used to like him. But yeah. over time, I started to notice, oh, wait, he's done a lot of bad things. Nowadays, when I think about screw, I realize, yeah, he's a scumbag and I have to <laughs> spy. And over time, that mindset started to wear off. Like, with Merkham's, when I realized he did the whole, oh, yeah, uh, Greasy's a whole loser. I'm going to troll him on the internet. I was like, no, no, I'm not taking chances. I dropped him immediately. Oh, yeah, I saw. You, you, oh yeah, he's being a no, because I immediately but, knew. But the good thing you didn't even get to the part where the dude was lying about smashing my girl. Like you didn't even yeah. get to hear all that. Yeah, that was before the diss track. Because I I immediately started to notice this before he even when you were calling him out to do with this, and he just refused to do it. That's what I remember seeing. Yeah, and see, the only reason I was doing that is because one, I was I actually respected his pen. And, and yeah. he, he was, you know, he had he had this like real cocky arrogance about him too. So I'm like, yeah. all right, this, this, this shit. I gotta I gotta step to him and really fucking, uh show him who's the nicest because I I respected his craft. Now, mm -hmm. uh, what it what, what the fuck was I about to say? Uh, oh yeah, the, the whole Stevie night. Yo, PFV, I'm I'm gonna let I'm gonna uh, bring you up. Hold on, I just want to get this point on. When when um Stevie Knight was having a whole tournament, 
if you check, I, I still was giving Merkins his respect. Mm -hmm. Even yeah, now, right, I definitely think was. A, a sucker at the food he did, but I still say that he's talented as you can't Absolutely. deny his talent. But during yeah, the scene, Stevie Nice, I'm giving him his credit, but I'm also saying things like, well, damn, uh, this uh, uh, Stevie, like, he seems like he, he he's a little low key biased too, but whatever. Whatever, we gonna talk behind the scenes about certain stuff and these beats and shit. Cause all I said was like, damn, these beats be sounding like they trying to cater in the market. Okay, maybe maybe I was yeah. wrong about that. Maybe I was wrong about saying that. But when I go to speak to you behind the scenes, and we can't just keep this amongst each other, we running straight to YouTube to tell everybody, I'ma get my fans to stall on you. That's what I'm talking about where the integrity comes into play. Absolutely. Anything for content, bro. They'll, they'll run straight to YouTube. So the reason why I got to play this stupid ass, dumb ass game and uh, entertain the, 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 the peanut gallery is because this is all the sh that these niggas know. They don't know anything else but talking to them like this because they're not mm -hmm. smart enough to make the fucking, like have common sense to just be like, this been stalking this for years. Mm -hmm. No, he does not with him. I'm not gonna bring him in some bull for the sake of content. If you can't put that simple together, well then, okay, I know what you're doing. You pandering, you trying to cater to your audience before building an actual rapport with somebody. I can't fuck with that. Yeah. But um, you want to say anything last? I just want to bring my man up. Okay, so for my... um. My last thing, yeah, I obviously want to say uh, integrity, always keep integrity. But I want to say this mostly to the audience and mm -hmm. just anyone else watching this, because this was um something I've been thinking about a lot recently, and it's really been getting me. Um, I've been trying to, you know, bring this into my life, and it's all about respect. Like, the golden rule is do unto others as you'd want to do unto yourself. Always try to show respect, because it's something we've lost a lot recently. I've seen it on the internet, just people being having the worst, most disgusting attitudes ever. And mm -hmm. I just want to say, you don't have to like somebody to show them respect. You can hate someone, but you still have to show them respect. So like, at the end of the day, insulting people for no reason, not being willing to listen to their side of the story is disgusting. It's horrible. And just because someone doesn't like you, or just because you don't like them, it doesn't mean you have the right to attack them, slur them, or any of this sort. You have to, you know, you can disagree with them and you can not like them or agree with what they do. Hell, you can mess about and banter and make fun of people, but at the end of the day, at least show them their flowers. At least show them respect. Like, understand that at the end of the day, we're all human and we're all different in our own ways and at the end of the day i feel like you know if we show self-control if we're able to show each other respect mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what we've done like obviously some people do deserve it i think there are some people who are truly unforgivable but for yeah. those who where it comes down to people who it's not that big of a deal that comes down to being petty and i think you insulting say michelle's fans just insulting grizzy because he just isn't, because he's not happy with what Michelle has done in the past or how Michelle acts or Grizzly's fans just telling, say, I don't know if they've done this. I don't think any of your fans have done this, but thinking Michelle should like kill himself or any of that sort. Just anyone saying anyone should kill himself mm -hmm. or anything of the sort. My is thing would never be on that type of time. I, I don't think there would be. Yeah, I, I don't think there would be. I've never seen my fans do something like yeah. that. The only thing I've really seen do. mostly from the fans that I've had is they might go to his comments or his page mm -hmm. and just be like, bro, Grizzly, Grizzly's not like that. Like, you yeah. trying to paint him a certain way, he's not like that. Grizzly has always just kept it a Yeah, stack. but I'd rather keep it like that. Like, yeah, if yeah, any, not, not, if you're to go to someone else's channel, like, try and be, try and be logical, at least. Don't try and, like cause chaos or any of the sort because toxicity just spawns more toxicity at the end of the day like toxicity is going to always be there and i understand that but if we can actively try to avoid being toxic i think 
we can get rid of all the pollution in our comments and you know we can have a much better environment on the internet and now nah, you speaking to fact, do that we need to show respect yeah let, let me bring my homie P, pfv up because he's been waiting all right, thank you for bringing me on all right. yeah no doubt bro you already know